Hello and welcome to our special live stream coverage Centenary and Beyond where we'll be touring some of the most significant places in the history of the uh, Communist Party of China. We're now in Yan'an, you know, uh, a city known as the Red Cradle of the Chinese Revolution. And more specifically, now we're in Yang Jiali, you know, the uh, uh, in excuse me, in Shanxi province, a province located in the southwest of China. And then, as you can see, we're, um, behind me is the, a conference hall called the Great Auditorium. This is where the, it might look just like an, another regular building, but it actually carries a more meaningful than meanings, meanings than other buildings because it has witnessed one of the most significant historical events in in the history, that is the um, seventh Congress of uh, Communist Party of China. And today you can see behind me, or you can see a lot of tourists already packed here and getting a visit and the history of the um, party. So today I'll be joining by our guest, uh, Professor Liu Jie. She's from the um, party school in Yan'an. Ni hao. Hi, ni hao. So first question to you, how long have you been learning the history of the um, Communist Party of China? Uh, so you've been since so you've been studying since 2012 so uh, what do you feel the difference you know Yan'an is compared to other you know um, cities which also carries a very significant historic meanings of the party就是党中央在延安十三年嘛从一九三五年到一九四八年十三年的时间这段时间的历史是比较厚重的而且党中央在延安十七的这十三年的时间当中呢是其实是从政治经济文化军事各个方面都有一些的发展的所以我们在研究
a little bit like Western style from the outside， 是吧？在外面看的有一点西方对呃建筑的那种那种风格风格，对。嗯。然后 Let's just move in inside. Wow. Already, you can see a lot of visitors inside the park. 那我们现在慢慢的走进礼堂里面来看一看。There we are! Wow, lots of visitors here. Today, visitors are quite a lot. As we mentioned, because this year marks the 100th 100th anniversary of the Communist Party of China, so that's why we can see groups of people, groups of visitors come come here to visit and to learn the history of the party. Right? Because this year is the 100th anniversary, so we see many visitors here to visit the Communist Party of China. And this year is also the 100th anniversary of the Communist Party of China. Yes, exactly. Now, tell us more about you know what we can see inside the auditorium. 那我们再说一说在现在在礼堂里面我们能看到的东西哈。So from uh in the middle of the auditorium, 就在我们的前方 in the front, 这是毛泽东和朱德的画像是吧 ？It's a portrait. 两位主要领导人。Yes, the portrait of Mao Zedong and Zhu De, like two leading two leaders of the party. Right, and then we can see all these red flags. Those are. These 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 are. 45, where the meeting was held. So there's 24 years of struggling challenges and of the party, right? That's what it says. And we can see those V signs holding all these flags. But we can also see like these red flags. 怎么说呢？这个这个装微型的标，微型标识、嗯，这个微型标识有什么特殊的意义？有什么特殊的说法？它的含义其实也是胜利的意思。哦，就是对因为其实 V 是代表是 victory， 对吧 ？Yeah， so V is actually short for victory， 对 ，right meaning is like we're the the party's victory basically and,。And and then 我们可以看到这上面写的是坚持争争修正修正错误。So basically, literally translate as preserve the truth and correct mistakes. 那这里所谓的啊修正错误是指的什么呢？我想我们从另外一个层面上去理解。你看，中国共产党从一九二一年建党到一九四五年，啊，二十多年的发展历程当中，其实会有很多的曲折，呃，会有很多的错误思想。但是我们是一直在这个过程当中不断的去修正错误。才达到真理的，所以我觉得这个，呃，坚持真理、修正错误，它恰恰的是反映了中国共产党这二十多年的奋斗历程，就是这样的。I see. So basically, they are saying the 24 years of the party's struggles. You know, of course, you are meeting all these different challenges along the way, but eventually you will pursue the truth, right? 就是在二十四年的，就是啊，不断的啊追寻的过程当中，最终我们会找到了真理。对对。然后，然后你看，其实它是有六个 V 字形的这个标识的。嗯哼。其实这六个 V 字形的标识，它也代表着之前我们开了六次全国党的代表大会，它也有这样一个含义在里面。Oh, so these six V signs represent six different six national congress which has been held before. 对对对。Okay. So 现在我们可以看到这个礼堂，其实我觉得目测可能得有小一百号人。明年应该比这会多一些吧，会多一些。但是那个时候，在七大的时候，咱们是有超将近七百五十名党员来参会，对吧？对。So basically, um, uh, during the uh Congress, which was which was held in 1945, this auditorium, this conference hall, were holding about 750 party members, right? 就我觉得。我就是很难想象这个地方能够容纳下七百五十号人。对，呃，这个礼堂呢，它是呃长是三十五米，宽呢是三十米，那高是十一米， so、所以它的 is thirty five meters， the height is 十一米， eleven meters， the width is 三十米， thirty meters。
，当然没人。所以他的这个可以，这个礼堂其实可以容纳近千人的。哦，所以，对，对，所以当时的正式代表和候补代表的总人数是七百五十五人，但是即使是七百五十五人，应该是一个非常庞大的数字了。所以很多人学员都会问说。这么多人能不能在这个礼堂里面面容纳下去呢？对，也是我们要找一些历史的见证了。对，所以我觉得大家可以看一看我们身后的，虽然人比较多，可以看看身后的这幅照片。So they, these two pictures hang on the wall is exactly yeah, is exactly the picture took back in the 1945 when the meeting was held in this auditorium, right? We could, uh, we could, 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 你看，这个很多，就是一个组织的游客来到这里，来参观这个地方。应该经常会看到这么多的游客来参观这个地方。嗯，几乎几乎每天都是这样。几乎每天。对。哇哦。啊，尤其是今年，可能这个学员呀，呃，游客呀会更多啊。对。So Professor Liu just told me that basically you can see all these. Crowds almost every day, and especially in this year, since you know it marks the 100th anniversary. So that's why, throughout our throughout our live stream, you might be see a lot of visitors. And then now, let's moving on. So um, I read on the uh, I read the history saying that uh, back in the old time, there are not only like Chinese Communist Party members, but there are also a lot of people from. Foreign countries. They came to Yan'an. They, they with the different backgrounds. They could be journalists. They could be workers. They could be, you know, doctors. And they all came here, live and work in Yan'an, 对吧？就是我在就是在历史书上有看到说，就是在一九四几年那个年代的延安，其实不仅仅是我们的中国的共产党员，其实也有很多国外的人来到了延安工作生活，对吧？对，包括采访也有很多外国的记者。对对对，包括很多。Yeah, including a lot of uh, journalists. One of them I can name is the Edward Snow. Su Mu, right? You can see how popular this place is. Yeah, we can see. Visitors with different age groups. I see little kids and I see senior people all come and visit this place. It's so popular. 然后 back to where we are. 我们刚刚说到，就是在这儿，历史上也有很多的外国的朋友来到延安工作和生活。那今天呢，我们也很有幸的邀请到现在。在延安工作生活的一位外国朋友 ，Hello c o r n e y h e l l o s o this, uh, welcome to join our program. Thank you. This is Courtney. She is an American. She is living and working in Yan'an for about three years, yes, right? About three so, years. So, tell us what brought you here in well, the city. The first time I came here, I had two friends, and I decided to travel, see a new city, mm -hmm. and to learn about the new city. Uh, so I came to visit them. We did all the tourist attractions. Mm -hmm. I realized the city, the air is very clean. Yes. It's very beautiful. Yeah. Green trees everywhere. Lots right. of parks. The people were very friendly. Yeah. Very welcoming. Yeah. Yeah. So I. I thought like it's a good place. Maybe I could explore, live there for a year. Right. Now three years later, I'm still here. Yeah, you ended up living here for three years, so probably yes. longer. Yes. Even yes. than three years. So, um, is this your first time here? No, I've been here a few times. Yeah. How how yes. does it feel? It's. As you can see, we already packed with the tourists. You can see yes. how popular this place is. There are many people that come here from yeah. all over China. Even, yeah, they come here, and it's a very welcoming place. As mm -hmm. you can see, many trees. You feel comfortable. It's cool in summertime. Lots yeah. of shade. Lots of unique buildings. Yeah, and then uh, just in front of us is the general office, right? 刘教授，在在我们前方的是就是中国中央办公厅办公厅，对吧？ Uh, 这个是因为是当年是主要是有
做，中央机关的主要领主要的办公机构都是在这里啊，比如说书记处呀、啊哈，组织部呀、宣传部呀，都在这里。So see in, right in front of us is the general office for the party before in the old times. So basically they are doing a lot of、uh, works inside and there has a lot of、um, uh, even a lot of 数据也会存在这里面，很多一些信息啊什么的，是吧？对，对 ，OK， even sort a lot of information and data and 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 such things. Okay, let's move on. We're now going to the front. We're going to the front. Now we are heading to where Chairman Mao used to work and live, right? We're now going to the front. 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 Okay, let me think about my questions. <laughs> Take your time. I, yeah, I was so so shocked when you know there's so many people are here. So, um, how do you feel Yang'an is different from other Chinese cities since you've been lived here for three years, and I, I know you've been lived in other places yes. as well. Well, when I first came to Yang'an, I flew here, so、yeah. I saw the area from above,、mm -hmm. and. It is a very small city.、Yeah. A very small city. In China, is huge. This small city made a great impact、mm -hmm. in the whole country. Right.、Uh, this year, everyone is getting ready to celebrate the hundredth anniversary. Yes, hundredth anniversary of the CPC. Yeah. Which is, I know, a big deal here. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can tell from all these visitors and yes. tourists. Yes. So many visit visitors. All throughout Yan, Yan, there are several monuments, museums.、Mm -hmm. uh, you always see little tour groups. Sometimes they wear the same uniform. They always carry chairs, little chairs. Yeah. They find a quiet place, sit down, study together, learn about the history. Yeah. It's quite funny. It's quite interesting. I mean,、yes. to see those, right? I feel the local people here are very, very good at working hard. They are very proud of their PPC, P, CPC. <laughs> CPC. Sorry,、yes. it's okay. And they really respect it. It's very high up on their list of respect. Have you ever encountered any people around you who happens to, happens to be a CPC member? Yes. So you, that helps you to get to know more about the party. Probably. Yes. Let me tell you a short story. Yeah. I have a foreign friend here.、Mm -hmm. We went to the movies, and I met.、Oh, sorry to interrupt you. So, because right now, what you can see on our picture is where the Zhu De used to live and work, right? 是的，现在。朱德的旧居。对 ，Okay. The, on the sign, it says 1940 to 1941. So it's such a short, short time staying here, or just like ten months. 朱德在这儿只住过十个月，是吧？看那个时间来说。对，因为处在抗战阶段嘛，所以朱德他的任务主要是在。战场上，对、oh. 对 ，so he because he is like a general of the army, so his main focus will be on the battlefield instead of staying here, like you know, outlining the policies and things like that.、Mm. Okay, go ahead. Back to your lovely story.、Oh, okay, so I have another foreign friend in Yan. Uh huh. He invited me to the movies. Yeah. And he also invited a Chinese friend. We watched the movie together. I never met her before. The Chinese friend. Right. We had dinner after. We just clicked instantly.、Mm -hmm. Best friends, really.、Oh, um, nice. We have a lot of the same hobbies,、mm -hmm. and we've talked every day since that. Okay. It has been over a year. I just recently found out she's a member. Oh, she's a party member. Yes. Ah,、oh, okay. So, how do you feel? Like, how? What does she do? She's very hardworking. Yeah. Very hardworking. A couple weeks ago, we went to dinner. Uh huh. And she needed to do a report. She stopped to dinner in a restaurant. Went to the front desk and typed on their computer. Oh, she's sent the report. Hard worker, so、yeah. dedicated. So now we are arriving at where a Chairman Mao used to work and live. Let's just move inside. Now we move on. Let's go inside. Okay. Does this type of、um, structure, this type of building, seems interesting to you? Yes. It's like a house inside a cave. Yeah, like well, actually, because I I'm from the southern part of China, so this is sort of like you know only in the northwest. This is our the northwest, 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 the
tourist group inside. We can just take a look outside. So the uh, the uh, the first door, 这个第一个房间是。这这边是他的呃那个居住的地方，对对吧？对，这边是,是他办公，这边应该放床，所以他肯定是他的卧室。啊、这个是卧室，这个是办办公的办公的地方。嗯、啊、，OK， shall we take a look at the office first？ OK， let's get inside。Oh， nice。Well， I feel like it's a very Spartan layout， right？ We、yeah. the Well, Chairman Mao used to only have a desk and a few chairs, two chairs, a wardrobe, and that's it. Yeah. And we can see this picture on、uh, hanging on the wall. It says, "We look at this wall. This picture is from the Olympics. So, this is the Olympic movement. Mao Zedong wrote, "Using our own hands to create ample food and clothing." Yeah, using our own hands to create ample food and clothing. 这个是因为当时当时这个延安呢，也就是产干经边区遇到了极大的经济困难，嗯、所以，呃，为了克服这个经济困难，所以中央才提出了这个，呃，自己动手丰衣足食，要搞大生产运动。I see. So back back then there were, you know,、uh, not enough food and not enough clothing. 因为国民党对我们做进行经济封锁，嗯、没有经济上的支出的支持支持的话，那这样的话、嗯、我们很难去发展嘛。So that's why、uh, Chairman Mao started the farming once he lived here, right? 他就开始农作了，带领了农作，是吧？农业。我记得下面还有一片他的小小,小菜园，小菜园。小菜园。Okay, and then on this there are another two pictures. You guys can leave. 你们可以先过，没关系。Okay, so yeah. As you can see, we can see visitors everywhere. <laughs> okay, those two pictures. What's the story behind? Uh, 这是呃四零年五月的时候，当时陈嘉庚到延安来访问，然后他接触到了啊这个毛泽东和这个这个中国共产党主要的领导人。然后他在这一次访问里都特别感动，所以他回去了以后就说了那句特别有名的话，就是中国的希望在延安。啊，对，延安 is a beacon of hope. For China, that's what the words left from this、uh, meeting, and this is another、um, visit by other people, and which was, you know,、uh, housed by our Chairman Mao. 对，这是呃四五年七月的时候，当时黄炎培他们一行啊、呃，这个呃应该是六人来延安啊、mm-hmm. 呃，当时呢这应该是刚刚来的时候吧，当时嗯。特别有名的一个事情呢，是黄炎培和毛泽东之间有一有一个对话，我们后来把它叫做“窑洞队”，就是如中国共产党如何来跳出历史周期率的这个问题。I see. 对 ，so 所以毛泽东说，我们找到了答案，这个答案就是民主。对。Oh, I see. So basically, this is where、uh, Mao's own new democracy was born. 对吧？这也是就是毛泽东的论新民主新民主主义论诞生的地方，就在这个桌子这儿。对，其实毛呃毛泽东在杨家岭这个地方，他有很多的创作，他的、嗯、呃这个著作大概写了有四十篇的左右了。嗯啊，最主要的这个呃新民主主义论，这恐怕是一篇最重要的，嗯、因为这篇文章呢是马呃毛泽东呢把马列主义的基本原理同中国的具体实际相结合，来指明了中国革命未来发展的方向。同时呢，在这个这篇文章当中呢，他也阐明了啊，这个新民主主义的政治、经济和文化的纲领。所以，我们说这篇文章它其实是马列主义的这个中国化的马克思主义的重要的理论成果。So Professor Liu was just saying, you know, just write at this desk. A lot of works were done by Chairman Mao, which which later were、um, printed on the selected works by Mao Zedong, right? So. 最有很多的作品是在毛泽东选集里面，最后就是收入到毛选的文章就有四十篇之多，就在这个地方。Wow, over 40 pieces、wow. of his of his papers and then you know printed in the selected works of Mao Zedong.、Wow. And one of the most important one is the on new democracy. Basically, on that paper, she's he excuse me he was saying you know how do not do the Marxism isolation. Uh, isolated mar- Marxism, but to combine with the Chinese characteristics. Okay, let's move on. We're now going to the Mao Zedong's office. Let's take a look at this little door. Don't worry, it's okay. Never mind. 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 Never mind.
It's just a Spartan layout. There's only a bed. Ah,、uh, 大家可以看这个生活条件其实非常艰、yes, 艰苦的。Yes, very Spartan.、Mm-hmm. 我们可以看这么多的书。Uh, oh, 对。毛泽东当年曾经跟斯诺说过，说他到、mm-hmm. 到了陕北之后呢，就开始发奋读书。嗯哼。啊，所以呃。毛主席能够取得这样的成就，跟他自身的努力是分不开的。Mm-hmm. So,、uh, Professor Liu was saying, you know,、uh, all the, with all these books, our Chairman Mao is a is a heavy reader. He reads a lot, and then from here, I think this is one of the highlights here, because usually we don't have a regular bed in. You know, Yao Dong, what we also call artificial caves, right? We don't have a regular bed. 就在窑洞里面，一般我们是不会有这种，就是我们平日常就是正常的会想到的床，但其实是用的炕，对吧？对对。But instead, the people living in the northwest China, they use tang instead of a regular bed. But this is this is probably the the only luxury Chairman Mao used to have because he was from Hunan Province, a southern southern、uh, province in China. So that's why. That's the only luxury he owned. You know, have a regular bed in these artificial caves, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Interesting stories, right? Very interesting. <laughs> okay. Anything you wanna share with us? And 还有其他什么有趣的小故事愿意跟我们分享的吗？现在是没有了吧？没有了。那那我们就往外边走吧。Let's move outside. Okay. Okay. Now while we're moving out, so my producer just told me we had some lovely messages from the netizens who are actually watching the live stream.、Oh. So someone from the I now first read some of our viewers' quite lovely comments. We can read them as we go. So one of the one of the guys、uh, left the message on Facebook saying, "Oh, I was there in 2009. Visited、oh. Mao's house and went to the big museum. I even dressed in the blue soldier uniform." Wow, that's、yeah. that's cool. Wonderful memories, and yes, it was busy like that. Lots of people, young and old, young and old. That's true. Although you know, you visited in 2009, and now it's to 2021, 21. but still packed with the tourists. Yeah. And the other one is also from Facebook user. She he said, Chairman Mao is a great man. I would like to see where a great man like him lived. Well, welcome to Yan'an. Come to Yan'an. <laughs> yes, yes, come to Yan'an. And another guy said, Chairman Mao must live in a simple life. Those pictures who captured that. It's very nice. Well, if you have any questions or messages, just keep leaving、um, on all of our social media platforms. You know, you can leave the message on Twitter, Facebook, our Weibo, or even on our、uh, app applications. Okay, moving on. Now we're going to move forward. Another interesting story to share, because as we mentioned before, back in the 1940s, there are a lot of、um, foreign journalists who came all the way to Yan'an just to, you know, see. Um, Chairman Mao, just to you know, interview him to get to know the Communist Party of China and how they were doing and how they eventually、um, pursued the victory. 就是在我们刚才也说了哈，在一九四零年那个年那那那,那段时间里面，有很多国外的记者也来到了延安，专门来。采访毛主席，专门来了解中国共产党的故事，对吧？对然后在这儿呢，其实就有一个很有意思的一个小故事。对，一会儿呢，我们就往前看，这边有一个小石桌。桌 so there's a stone table and chair, very simple. So this is where Chairman Mao used to meet with the American journalist. Wow, Anna Strong, Anna Lou Anna Strong. Oh, Stella. Yes.、Okay. So this is exactly where they met, and then the questions she asked: What if the, you know, the,、um, what if the U.S. threw out、uh, threw the a- a- atomic bomb here, and then, see,、oh, yes. yes, there you go. Mao Zedong met with American journalist Anna Liu Strong here and made remarks on international and domestic situation situations which. His assertion: All anti-revolutionaries are paper tigers. Do you have any idea what paper tigers mean? I have no Cause, idea. Because, you know, when you, when we say tiger, you see like you know very, very strong. Yeah, very. He it should it should be strong. Yeah. But when you add paper in front、uh, in front of the tiger, meaning 
He just pretend to be strong. It can a gentle be, tiger. Yes, it can be. It can be easily be destroyed. Basically,、okay. that's the story behind. 是吧？这就是、uh, 毛泽东是、mm-hmm. 毛泽东的纸老虎的所谓的呃含义。我觉得可能包括这样一点，就是我们要在、mm-hmm. 我们把这个国民党反动派呢当成纸老虎，是因为我们要在啊、呃、这个战术上啊、呃、战略上重视他们，在战术上哎在战术上重视他们，但但是在战略上我们要藐视他们。OK，、呃、所以。啊，说一切反动派都是纸老虎，而且，啊，因为抗战已经结束了嘛，所以啊，民族矛盾不再是国家主要矛盾的时候，嗯、这个时候啊，中国共产党和国民党之间呢，他们两个人之间的两党之争恐怕呢，啊，会在一个时期内呢，是党当前所继续解决的问题。I see.、Uh, so basically, by that time, uh, we've already succeed in anti-Japanese、um, war. And then back then, so the most important issues to be solved is the issues between Kuomintang and the Communist Party, right? Okay. So let's moving on to our very last destination, where you can on this terrain, where you can see that little farming area where <laughs> where Mao Chairman Mao used to,、uh, you know, plant, grow all these veg- vegetables. vegetables. Yes. 我们可以在在那边给大家看一看曾经毛主席种的那一片菜地。Yeah, this is where、um, Chairman Mao used to grow his vegetables, and they, he initiated farmings, and so that we can, you know, the party members can provide ample food and clothing, clothing themselves. And speaking of that, you know, as you as we. Throughout the whole live stream, we can see a lot of、uh, tourists and visitors, and that remind me of a concept of red tourism. 就这个让我想到了咱们的红色旅游这个概念哈 Although this concept has been around over a decade, but it hasn't really included into the national、uh, tourism plan until 2004. So yeah, so and and the, all all these red tourism things are places including Yan'an and Jinggangshan and Zunyi and etc. A lot of places across the country which has a significant histories of the Communist Party of China, right? And I do have a I do have some numbers on my note, so. So basically, Yang Jialing, this place in in twenty. 2019, there are more than 73 million visitors came to visit here. 就就就数据显示，二零一九年就有 73 million， 七点三亿，不对，七千三百万。人来参观过延安，这是其实一个是一个很大的数据，对对吧？那您您在延安生活，感感觉怎么样？在这种革命这样一个重要的革命圣地生活，您感觉怎么样？呃，我觉得，呃，自己。生在延安，长在延安，然后工作也在这里、嗯、啊！我的工作也跟红色教育相关，所以我觉得我自己啊，被这种历史所深深的感染。嗯、这种感染可能是一种啊，心灵上的一种呃、啊、感染吧，就是呃、啊，我们大家是在真学、真信、真行、真用、嗯、啊，然后我们希望通过我们的这样一种学习，能够感染身边更多的人。这个可能就是我们。呃，在自己工作的过程当中，也找到了一种，呃，工作的价值，然后觉得自己所从事的这个工作是一个非常有意义的工作。So Professor Liu, she was born and raised up in this city, so she basically had nurtured in the heavy history of the party, right? 就基本上是在就是党的这种。这种生在红旗下，长在红旗下，长下长,长大的，对对对,对、嗯。OK， so thanks again for both both of you for joining us on the live stream。谢谢您，谢谢刘教授给我们分享了一些啊、uh, 很有趣的一些小知识哈。OK， that is all about the live stream today。So if you have any questions or messages， you can leave on all of our social media platforms。And again， thanks to these two wonderful guests we have here， um， Courtney。From American who, from America who is currently living in Yan'an, and Professor Liu, who is the、um, professor from the Party School in Yan'an. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Great to have you here. And、uh, that is all. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
拜。再见。啊，该弄哪一个？